Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In this video, we will see the ASME Section 8, Division 2 Standards, and Rules to Design a Pressure Vessel. It is divided into four parts, we will see each part individually. In Part A, we deal with only ferrous material. It contains, material specifications for steel pipe, flanges, plates, bolting materials, casting, wrought, and malleable iron. These specifications are identified by the prefix, SA followed by a number such as, SA-53, or SA-106. Here, SA stands for ferrous material. In Part B, we deal with only non-ferrous material. It contains material specifications for aluminium, copper, nickel, titanium, zirconium, and their alloys. These specifications are identified by the prefix, SB followed by a number such as, SB61, or SB88. Here, SB stands for non-ferrous material. In Part C, which deals with welding filler materials, also we can mention it as SFA. We have all the specifications regarding, welding rods, electrodes, and filler metals. These specifications are identified by the prefix, SFA followed by a number such as, SFA 5.1, or SFA 5.27. In Part D, the properties used by the designers are to calculate the thickness of the vessel wall. This part covers the material properties of all those materials, that are permitted as per Sections 1, 3, and 8 of ASME, Boiler, and Pressure Vessel Codes. Part D has two subparts. Subpart 1 contains allowable stress, and the design stress intensity tables, for ferrous, and non-ferrous materials for pipe, fittings, plates, bolts, and so forth. In addition, it provides tensile strength, and yield strength values, for ferrous, and non-ferrous materials. Also, it lists down factors for limiting permanent strain in nickel, high nickel alloys, and high alloy steels. Subpart 2, has tables, and charts providing physical properties, such as coefficient of thermal expansion, modulus of elasticity, and other technical data needed for the design, and construction of pressure vessel containing, components, and their supports made from, ferrous, and non-ferrous materials. You can refer to this flow chart to learn about ASME, Section 8, Division 2. Thanks for watching. Until then learn and grow.